Hey, just a quick bit of inspiration as I'm standing out here in my own yard doing something that everybody that has a pet knows about. There's a spiritual lesson in everything. For many of us, our life is full of that. It's funny as I'm weed eating, whether I'm picking up poop, mowing a lawn, God's always speaking, so I just had to share this with you. As I'm out here picking it up, I want you to notice two things. Grass, a little bit overgrown. It's really thick and lush. And I'm out here with fraggle tooth fork that my wife hates because I broke the tongs off. But I'm out here with this fork Digging through, looking, look. There it is. Looking for yuck. What's that have to do with living in a spiritual life? The point is, if your grass gets too tall, hasn't been maintained, it's good, it's lush, it's thick, it's going to feel good, it's going to look good once it gets a... Uh, a little cut that you won't even know what's hiding in it. You won't know all the crap that's built up. So my encouragement to everybody today with this little spiritual nugget is go looking for crap. Mow your lawn. And then once you get it, pluck it out. How do you do that? It's up to you. You've already got everything in you that you need to take care of the piles in your life. So enjoy. Number one, be patient. If there's one thing I've learned, still practicing actually, for those of you that know me, but is patience is the key. That is what I would preach every day, all the time, especially for you young people which I think I need to do a message on that and striving. It's a beautiful thing. But sometimes I wish you would just enjoy the life, learn the lessons, be patient, work hard, and I will stop there. But hey, if you need to go mow your lawn, mow your lawn. If you need to pick up poop, don't call me. Over and out. All right. Peace.